Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am back with a haul from HomeSense and Home Bargains and a cheeky bit of Ikea in there as well. I've got lots of autumn decor, if that's your kind of thing, um, something for Halloween. I've also got some household essentials, some real bargain items and a few household tips along the way with those. I've got Christmas gift, I've got some cleaning bits, I've got some beautiful home decor and I've got something for the kittens too. So something for everybody here. I'm gonna get straight into it. Let's get straight into it. I'm gonna have a quick sip of the water actually. Let's do that. It's a hot day in London again today. I'm enjoying the beautiful weather that we have here. But I thought I would get in early with some of the autumn bits. So I went with my friend Luke to the Greenwich Retail Park. We do it every single year and had a great time having a mooch. If you haven't seen that vlog already, I'll link it for you in the description box so you can have a little look at everything we spied in store. But yeah, now I'm gonna show you all the bits that I bought. So let's start off with home scents. And the first thing that I bought, I only got two things in there. I was very restrained in terms of the autumn candles, autumn decorations. I didn't wanna go crazy and you know, I've got quite a few candles squirreled away. So something that I did want to get, which I feel like kind of is, um, is it matching my shirt? No, <laughs> clashy with my shirt probably. Um, it's this lampshade and I spotted this, I spotted a few and I wanted to get a lampshade for the gold lamp base that I have. You may have seen it, it's over there now and it has this red, lampshade on that I bought from the car boot cell, but the red isn't quite working for me anymore. I have a different one back here now. So I wanted to swap the lampshade out and I spotted this one. It reminds me of that brand, um, and Luke thought this too, it's um, Pookie, the design on here, which they're very expensive, those lampshades, aren't they? Um, beautiful fabrics. This one is a fraction of the cost of one of those. This was just $12.99. Um, it's by a brand called, Hmm, it just says lampshade actually, and it just tells you what bulbs um, you can use. So, yeah, I don't know what the brand is. There's no, am I missing something? <laughs> I can't see the brand on here, just a bit of brown paper. Um, but I really liked it. I wasn't sure about the fringing. That's um, the only thing that I wasn't sure about. But I think when it's on the gold, I think it will look lovely. And I just think it looks really premium. I think this fabric is fab. It's kind of like a, it's almost like batik kind of style this inky uh, blue on there with the gray and then the pleating. I just think, yeah, it looks premium, doesn't it? it certainly doesn't look 12.99. So very pleased with my bargain lampshade. And then the other thing that I bought in HomeSense was this. It's a Halloween cat scratcher. It says Halloween happy cat scratcher. And in here, so it's made of cardboard, great big pumpkin design, but we've got all the little um, areas that they can pop their paws in, so pumpkin can get involved with the pumpkin, <laughs> and mittens too, of course, and there's a little ball in here that they can roll around inside, and I thought I might maybe hide some treats in there as well, so they can spend some time um, just getting involved with that. You can also um, scratch away at this too. And yeah, this was 6 99 which I thought was good. And with it being made out of cardboard, if they do trash it, obviously that can then go in the recycling as well. So I thought that was great, and hopefully will give them hours of fun. That is it for the bits that I got in HomeSense. But yeah, if you wanna see everything that was in store and they had lots of amazing Halloween decorations, if that's your thing, then do head over to um, that vlog, which I'll link in the description box for you. So, on to Home Bargains. And oh my goodness, I can't even lift the bag, I'm not even exaggerating. I'll have to stand up to lift it. It is so <laughs> heavy. I got one of these big bag of bargains bags. They're 99p and they're so big, they're actually quite handy, those bags, aren't they? I'll probably use that to um, take clothing down to the laundrette in. Anyway, the first thing that I got, and I really was hoping I would spy one of these, it is this Gary the Ghost. So you might have seen these online. I think they've been shared quite a lot on Instagram and TikTok. And it's this cushion, essentially. Um, it's from their Haunted House collection. And yeah, it says Gary the Ghost and it's made out of this faux fur and it's got the little ghost face on it. And it's basically a cushion, obviously for Halloween time, I guess you could have him all year round. And I just thought, he's so cute. He's 4.99 and he's gonna be a vibe 
on the sofa up in the loft. I just think he'll fit on there really nicely. I love the way that when you place him on the sofa, he kind of just like sits. <laughs> and he's a bit of a dupe for the, I think it's the Pottery Barn ones that are very much more expensive. And I think the kittens are gonna really enjoy playing with Gary as well. So welcome to the home, Gary. Hope you're very happy here. I hope you have a happy Halloween here. And um, yeah, hopefully you'll be enjoying the loft, you'll be haunting the loft and living your best life on the sofa up there. So yeah, meet Gary everybody. <laughs> Absolutely love that. I think it's such a cool design, isn't it? Love him. And he's very snuggly and soft too, so. I think I might get quite attached to Gary the ghost. <laughs> so, um, I've got a pal to watch my horror movies with now and spook everybody. Imagine holding him up to the window. <laughs> Give the neighbours a little fright. He looks like a friendly ghost, doesn't he, though? He's not too scary. And then, also, I've got some other bits for um, kind of autumn Halloween in home bargains. And I wanted to get these while I saw them in store because these are the sort of things I think that go viral online and sell out, aren't they? I know that Gary's very popular. And I also spotted these um, pumpkin glass sweet jars. It says, ideal as a spooky Halloween table centerpiece. So Luke spotted these, and when I saw the, um, the image on the box here, I thought it looked quite small. So yeah, I just thought it would be like a little, little small thing. Um, again, from the um, Haunted House collection. But obviously with it being the Haunted House collection, like this is quite Halloween-y, but with it being clear glass, I feel like it's gonna go with whatever your home's like, isn't it, for autumn time. So it's actually really quite big. Comes um, packaged quite nicely, so it's not gonna get damaged. So I'll probably hang on to that box, actually, for storing this um, away throughout the year. But this is it, and I thought that was a really good size. For 4 99 again, and I can fill this with all the sweets and all the snacks for autumn. And I might keep this up in the loft as well, actually, and just have a little grab jar of goodies and treats in there. Let me know what you'd pop in there. I'm thinking a mixture. We could do a bit of popcorn, a bit of sweets, a bit of um, more sweets, maybe some nuts. Let me know what you'd pop in that. But 4 99 is good, isn't it? And yeah, it's just really nice, thick glass. It doesn't feel like it would break too easily. So I thought that was a really good buy and a really good price. The prices in Home Bargains are fantastic. I think compared to HomeSense, as I was looking at the um, decorations and things like the wreaths and that sort of thing, if you want something a little bit more budget friendly, I think it's definitely a place to pick these sort of things up. And talking of which, I also bought this pumpkin wooden Board. So I thought this might be in with the Halloween decorations, but this was actually in the kind of kitchen area where they've got the things like other chopping boards, you know, knives, that sort of thing. So if you want one of these, have a look in the kitchen center, kitchen section in your home bargains and you might find one there. But yeah, I just thought this was really nice. It says Home Collections Harvest. So it's the pumpkin wooden board. And yeah, as you can see, it's got a really nice kind of um, design on here, nice bit of detail, and the wood's really nice, isn't it? It's got the different kind of tones going through it. I'll just take the um, packaging off so you can see it better. How about that? Isn't that nice with the um, cut out detail here for the stalk? And it's quite a good size, so I'll be able to put this up on the side, just propped up in the kitchen, but also I was thinking pop it flat on the table with my new pumpkin glass container. And they'll look really nice together with that just placed on the top of it, I thought. So, yeah, another bargain, $4.99. I like the fact as well that you can hang this up. So you could just have it as a kind of autumn decoration and hang it up, maybe put it around the other way. You could maybe paint something on here, maybe get the stencil out and write like an autumn slogan on there. So lots of fun we could have with that. I just think a real steal, and even with the metalwork in there. I think the um, detail on that is fantastic. Oh, I'll just quickly show you what I picked up in Ikea. Not a very exciting purchase. Well, it is exciting for me, but it looks quite boring on camera here right now. But these are some large cushion inners, um, 65 by 65 centimeters. I've got some White Company kind of knitted cushion covers up in the loft that I bought from the charity shop. And they're on a 50 by 50 in inner, like a feather one. 
but it's not big enough to fill them out. I think it's because it's like stretchy knitted fabric. I needed something a bit bigger. So these were nine pounds each and they're a really good size. And if it doesn't work for those, I know that you can get some really nice large cushion covers quite reasonably in H&M and also in Ikea that you can then have these propped up on the bed. They're a good size for the bed. So yeah, I'll see how I get on with those, but hopefully they will work for those cushion covers that I've got up in the loft because once they're in those, I think they'll look nice and plump and be a bit more comfortable. So back to home bargains. Let's do um, some cleaning supplies next. So I've gone for some real staples here just because they've got a bargain price in home bargains and they're things that I find really useful to have in the home. First of all, good quality bleach. This is the Domestos bleach and it's a great big, they call it a family pack. I think this is a good bleach I and mean, it's just thick, isn't it? So when I do use a bit of bleach, which I do use sparingly, but I find it really handy for removing mildew on sealant, particularly if you get those little um, dark spots appearing on that. And also just for a disinfectant for doing things like the bin. Sometimes I'll use it for the toilet. You only need a cap full for like a full spray bottle to make a disinfectant that will kill any germs. So a little goes a long way with this. This will last me absolutely ages. And this was £1.99 and it's a huge um, 1,250 ml. So yeah, great big bottle of that. So I won't be throwing that around everywhere. It'll just be like a little cup full here and there does, um, does loads. I also bought a huge XXL pack of Daz. So me and Luke were comparing all the prices per washes and really inspecting all the different sizes of the Daz packets because they had smaller boxes, they had an XXL box that had 80 washes in that worked out considerably more expensive than this one. I think the 80 washes was 12 99 and this is 65 washes for 8 99 I think this was working out around 13p per wash, but don't quote me on that. It was definitely the best value. And yeah, 8 99 for this. Daz is what the lady in the laundrette recommends that I use and I've been using it and getting on really well with it. It just cleans really well and it smells good too. It's just got that classic laundry smell clean clothes smell love it and if you can get your clothes out on the washing line after using this i feel like that's all we need the other thing we might need if we're doing our towels is some white vinegar and i was looking for white vinegar in the cleaning aisle they did have some star drops white vinegar solution but i'm not sure if it's like pure white vinegar if they add stuff to it so that was one pound 19 which is a pretty good price it was a big bottle in a spray bottle but this is from the cooking section or the condiment section distilled white vinegar it says for salad pickling and cleaning 500 ml for 49 pence and this is so good for removing lime scale cleaning the shower cleaning anywhere basically and yeah it does smell of vinegar when you use it but that soon goes also for your washing this is fantastic to use when you're doing your towels. It brings them up really nice and fluffy and it's gonna do your washing machine some good as well. Obviously, it's going to get rid of any lime scale too and it does not leave that vinegar smell. So you don't need to worry about that. Fantastic stuff. I use it all the time and a 49p, we can't go wrong. I feel like you could probably just take the lid off that and screw a spray attachment straight onto that bottle potentially, but I'll dilute it. I won't use it neat unless I'm tackling like lime scale head on, like on the shower head or something. And then it's really handy. Oh, I just spotted some treats. I've got some cookies. They've got the baked section in Home Bargains. I didn't have a proper look at the food section, but the food section that I did see was very impressive. I mean, the snacks aisle is something else in there, isn't it? I kind of had to like step away from it. But I bought these actually for us to have in the car, but then, we weren't hungry because we had a cheese sandwich and some Pringles. But they've come home anyway. I've got five double chocolate chip cookies in here for 99p. So a really good price. And yeah, these smell delicious. So I'm looking forward to eating those. It says baked in store. So yeah, they should be really good. And then also in the condiment section, I spotted some piccalilli, which I absolutely love. I love a bit of piccalilli on a sandwich on a cheese sandwich with some crusty white bread. It's absolutely delicious. I love how tangy it is. And it's got vegetables in it. Does that make it healthy? We've got cauliflower, fresh onions, and vegetables in variable proportions. Hmm, 
I love it when you find a little onion in it. <laughs> and yeah, I just like piccalilli, so I haven't had any of this for ages, so I thought I'd get myself a jar when I spotted that. And I've forgotten how much this was, but it's not very expensive. Do I have the receipt here somewhere? I think I do, I'll just grab that and tell you um, how much it was in case you are a piccalilli fan yourself. That was 85p, so that's pretty good going, isn't it? And I also got some cod liver oil for £3.69, um, some capsules, yeah, you get 180 one a day, and I'd run out of those, so I wanted to pick some of those up. And then this is something that they sell at the till, so handy, I had one of these before but I lost mine, and these are only 39p, they're the little trolley buddies on a key ring, and you know what it's like when you get to the supermarket or home bargains and you haven't got your £1 coin for 39p, you can always have one on your key ring. So yeah, it's absolutely perfect. And then I bought these Yankee Candle at Home Inspirations, um, two jars. I'm gonna pop these away as a Christmas gift for somebody. These were 4 99 and I thought that was a really good price for these two. We've got the um, Home Inspiration Holiday Magic, really nice one, and then we've also got um, snow dusted pine as well. I'm not sure if I've smelled that one before, but I thought in that gift box for 4 99 that's a really lovely gift. And yeah, I think you're looking for at least uh, like 10 pounds elsewhere, aren't you? Oh, it's suddenly got a bit dark in here. It's that time of the afternoon, evening when the sun's kind of moving around um, and going a bit lower. So yeah, I've kind of lost the light a little bit in the living room here. So hopefully um, you can see everything okay. I also picked up some wine. So this is White Haven Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc, um, 2022 from New Zealand. This had, had an RRP for £17 and they were selling it for £6.99. So I thought it would be worth a try um, with such a big saving on it. And yeah, it says the aromas and flavours of gooseberry, passion fruit, hints of jalapeno, freshly cut grass, complemented by an elegant, crisp finish. That sounds delicious, doesn't it? So I'm gonna pop that in the fridge. It'll be something really nice to enjoy on these warm summer evenings. And then, last but not least, I picked up some Diet Cokes. This was a bargain. 12 cans of Diet Coke for 3 dollars I thought that was a great price. And that is everything I got, apart from a big bag of bargains bag <laughs> that was 99p. So that is everything that I picked up from Home Bargains and Home Sense and Ikea. So let me know if anything caught your eye in the comments. Have you picked up any of these bits yourself? Um, and let me know if you've spotted anything good in there recently that I should know about. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this haul. As I say, if you missed the vlog um, and you want to see more in-store in Home Bargains and Home Sense, do have a look at that video linked in the description box. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you're here for the bargains and you enjoy these sorts of videos. And don't forget, you can always catch me over on Instagram as well. It's Mr. Carrington. And my home account is Mr. Carrington Home. So on there, you will see things like when I style this on the boot sale lamp base. You can see how that looks over there and that sort of thing. And I'll often share shopping bargains on my home account too. So yeah, you'll probably see Gary the ghost hanging out on there soon. But yeah, enjoy the rest of your day or evening, whatever time it is that you're watching this. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.